Okay, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to extract the HTML from a Google form. Um, some of you have having issues in my last video because you couldn't find the name property on the inputs. So I found a way um, you can just extract them really easily. Um, what you need to do is you need to build out your form to begin with, of course. Um, you can add any fields you want. It I think this works for everything. Uh, then when you've completed your form, you go to the three dots in the top right hand corner. You click more. You then click get pre-filled link. So this is going to give you a form you can populate. What I like to do is in the name field, remember, or whatever field you got at the top, remember what you type in. So I'm just going to type in remember. And we're going to use that word to search the DOM later. Say message. And I'm just going to give um, any option there. I'm going to click get link. If you look in the bottom right, you get this pop up. Um, click copy link and open a new tab. So as you can see it's pre-populated. I'm going to double click the, um, the text I inputted. I'm going to inspect. I then I'm going to do command F to search. I, um, on a Windows it's probably control F. Um, it's command F on a Mac. I'm going to paste that in. I'm then going to hit enter a couple of times and it's going to take me down to, um, you're going to see like a few inputs in a row all with a hidden um, type and as you can see they all it's all populated with the data we inputted but as you can see there's some fields which are missing and in this case it's the email address so if you keep looking at this div if I type in beer you'll actually see that it adds um, an input and I think this is what the problem was with people not being able to find the name um, this is going to be the same for file upload, etc. You're going to need to upload the file first before it generates the hidden input. So now that we've got the inputs, we know what names we can use in our HTML form. And another important property is the action on the form. So the action is what uh, processes the data and inputs into the spreadsheet. So to begin with, I'm just going to copy this. So the action. I'm going to go to my HTML form, I've already pasted it here, but what you need to do is you need to make a form element and paste it into the action. And I'm just going to show you, I've got a um, form set up, so I've replicated the form fields in my own HTML. Obviously if I submit it now, it's not going to work. Um, what I need to do now is to get the name, entries and the number. And I need to link them up. So I got email by here. over. I'm going to need to take the name of the email field and put it in my name. In my name property. And then I need to do the same for all the rest. So this is a radio button. So it's slightly different. You need to add the name property to every single input in the... Um, I saw a collection. Um, so the name was remember. Do the same for that. And then for your message, is it um, where was that? Yes, but that. And then the final one was a select, and it was option two. So I paste that in there. You're then going to need to add a button. Um, with a type of submit and this is what submits the form to Google's URL in the action. So if I save that, go back to my document and refresh. I'm going to fill out these details. And if I hit submit, hopefully it'll work. So the form has been submitted. If I go to my um, spreadsheet, which you can find um, within your where you set up your form. Oh. Okay, maybe it's not working now. But yeah, it's added the uh, details into the spreadsheet, so it obviously works. Um, I think the next video I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to have the form submit and stay on the same page, because I've seen that, I've requested a lot. But if you've got any more suggestions on Google Form and videos I w you want me to do, leave a comment below, and I'll also appreciate a thumbs up if possible. Thank you.